surprise, surprise, the Zack Snyder cult fan base who likes to gargle his nutsack every three seconds are crying because there's a possibility that Joe as Deathstroke will return in the DCU and the Snyder cult is a boycotting. If Joe returns and Batfleck doesn't return, then I'm not going to support the DCU. Man, shut your ass up. Man, shut your bitch ass up. Nigga, nobody asked you not a bitch ass thing. You better shut the fuck up before I knock your fucking head off your shoulders, old ugly ass bitch. Stupid ass bitch. Nigga, I'll kick your fucking heart out your chest, nigga. Better watch the fuck out. So according to My Time to Shine Hello, uh, it's a chick, some people think it's Grace Randolph, which is hilarious. Uh, she is claiming that a fan asked her, hey, uh, will Joe -na 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 as Deathstroke return in the DCU? And she responded with, well, he's best friends with James Gunn, which is true. Fun fact, Joe and James uh, play Dungeons and Dragons together, which is fucking so nerdy, but whatever. It's adorable, I guess. And she is confidently saying that, yes, he will be Deathstroke in the DCU. Now, keep in mind, this person doesn't really in a fucking no shit, <laughs> right? She, she is just speculating, all right? She's saying, yes, he will return. James Gunn, however, did not say anything. And this is pure speculation. Now, would I like to see Joe return as Deathstroke? Absolutely. I think he fits the character. Uh, he, we barely scratched the surface with him playing the character. He was barely in Zack Snyder's Just League. He had one scene in Nightmare Timeline. And the other scene was with uh, Jesse Eisenberg as Lex Luthor, excuse me, the Riddler. So I would love to see him actually do something in, in the DCU. And, and also, James Gunn was going to... Was going to um, utilize Deathstroke in his Suicide Squad. You know, I believe, you know, there are concepts out there of, of Joe as Deathstroke in, in the Suicide Squad movie before everything changed. So James does have plans for the character. Now, whether or not it's Joe, I mean, that would be awesome. I'll be up for it. And of course, you know, some people are complaining like, well, well, if Joe can come back as Deathstroke, then how come Ben Affleck doesn't want to come back, huh? You, you, you can't use Joe as Deathstroke if Ben Affleck doesn't want to come back as Batman. Well, Ben Affleck doesn't want to be Batman anymore. He doesn't, he doesn't want to play the character anymore. So what you're saying is Joe can't be Deathstroke anymore because Ben is not Batman? Like, what? Like, these people are so goddamn stupid. Shut up. Just shut your fucking mouth. You make DC fans look stupid. You make us look like fucking children, bro. It's because of these dumbasses on Twitter. Oh, my God. Just delete your fucking apps. <laughs> these people are so dumb. These people are so fucking dumb. If Ben Affleck's not Batman anymore, then Joe shouldn't be Deathstroke. What gives Joe the right? Nigga, like, go fucking suck a dick already and get the fuck off social media. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I want Joe to come back as Deathstroke, so I hope it's true. And the rest and the rest of you fucking sad tonight cultists can fucking stand in the rain and fucking cry. Now, in the what the fuck news, a Scarecrow movie is reportedly in the works at DC and will be set in the Matt Reeves universe. Uh, okay, interesting. Uh, I think the Scarecrow definitely works in the Matt Reeves universe, especially with his dark tone and nature. Um, if they make Scarecrow like he was in the Arkham games, where, he, where he's sort of like a Freddy Krueger type character and really delve deep into his backstory, um, I, I guess it could work. Do I really need a Scarecrow movie? No. Uh, do I want to see one? I mean, I guess. I, listen, as listen, you can as long as you have talented writers and talent and talented directors, uh, you can make anything work, right? Like, who would have thought a, a Joker solo movie would work? Because everyone hated the idea, and and look how it turned out. It was fucking awesome, and it's a billion dollar franchise. No, I'm not saying Scarecrow will be a billion dollar franchise or as good as the Joker, but hey, if you want to do it, do it. But uh, I mean, I'm at the point where I was like, all right, like. Whatever ideas you have in store for us, I'm, I'm sure they're at least uh, worth checking into or, or worth checking out. Uh, I'm not really uh, that big of a scarecrow guy where I need to see his backstory on the big screen. Uh, I, I don't think he's that compelling of a character. 
But again, that's why you have writers, right? Writers can fucking create a story that is compelling and that makes us, you know, really empathize with the character, but also at the same time really delve deep into his dark, psychopathic uh, mindset and see what makes him uh, twitch and quirks and all that stuff. I, like I said, if they make it like a true horror film, um, I think it could. I think it could work. I think you know th they could really do some interesting deal. Do, do some interesting and um creative ways on telling jonathan crane's story so hey i'm interested if, if they got something cooking for us i'm hungry and i want to eat so that's gonna be it hit like subscribe follow me on twitter instagram discord tiktok and this is actually let me in the comments down below what do you think of all this news so far um i think joe's death stroke hell yeah bring him back uh scarecrow movie not necessarily needed but, uh, hey, if it's good, I'll watch it. Love you all. Stay safe. Truth. Oh, my God. <laughs> Out.